Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial on Java programming. So in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys about the loops in Java. So first of all, what are these loops and uh, you know, what is the use of it? So let's say in your program, you want to print some text 100 times. For example, let's say you want to print learning lad rocks 100 times. So what you can do is you can uh, uh, write a system dot out dot print line statement hundred times and let's say you have to print that 500 times so so at that time you know writing that print line statement hundred times or 500 times is not the convenient option so what we can do is we can write only one statement and we can make our computer to execute that statement hundred or 500 times so this can be done by using the loops in Java so these loops are going to help us to execute some statements again and again and again until some condition is reached. So there are three types of loops available in Java. You know, one is called a for loop and another one is called a while loop and another one is called do while loop. So we're going to be learning about the while loop, you know, you know, which is the simplest of these three loops and uh, we can learn about the remaining loops in the upcoming tutorials. All right. So the first thing is, you know, how to use this while loop. So the syntax to use the while loop in your program is first you need to write the keyword while and then we're going to have a pair of parentheses and uh, then a pair of curly braces. So between these parentheses, we're going to have an expression or some condition which is called loop continuation condition, you know, which determines whether we have to execute the statements inside this block or not. So we're going to have the loop continuation condition here. So this loop continuation condition is going to result in either true or false. If this loop continuation condition results in true, then the statements that we're going to write inside this block will be executed and uh, the statements that we're going to write inside this uh, block will be called as the loop body. This loop continuation condition will be checked and the loop body will be executed if that condition evaluates to true. Once this loop continuation condition becomes false, you know, the control will come out of this loop and it's going to continue to execute the other statement that are going to present in your program. So here, just for the demonstration purpose, what we're going to do is we're going to print out learning led rocks 10 times. So first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable and let's call it as counter and let's initialize this counter to a value of one. So here inside this while loop, we're going to have the loop continuation condition. So here, what we want to do is we want to execute the statement, you know, which is the learning led rocks in this loop body 10 times. So we want to come out of this while loop once we have printed out learning led rocks 10 times. So here, what I can do is I can form a condition by using the comparison operator. So I can check whether the value of this counter variable is less than or equal to 10. I want to execute the body of this while loop whenever this condition succeeds. So once the counter value becomes greater than greater than 10, then this loop continuation condition is going to fail and the control will come out of this while loop and it's going to execute the other statement of your program. So if it is confusing, don't worry, you know, once we're done with our program, it's going to be clear. So here I'm going to have system dot out dot print line and I just going to say learning lad rocks. We do actually. All right. Now, if I run this program, what happens is, you know, this condition will evaluate to true every time because, you know, the counter value that we have here is not changed in our program. So every time we're going to check for this condition, it will be one and it will be less than or equal to 10. And we will be executing the loop body, you know, which is the statement infinite times. So what we can do is we can increment the value of this counter variable. So here inside the loop body, what I'm going to do is I'm going to increment the counter 
value so counter plus plus now for the first iteration you know the counter value will contain 1 and which is less than or equal to 10 and we're gonna print out learning lad rocks and then the counter value will be incremented so the counter will become 2 again the condition will be checked 2 is less than or equal to 10 yes we're gonna execute this statement now it's gonna become 3 and 3 is less than or equal to 10 again we're gonna execute and similarly you know when this counter value becomes 10 you know this 10 is less than or equal to 10 you know the expression evaluates to true you know we're gonna execute the statement inside this and the counter value becomes 11 here so in the next time when we're gonna check 11 is not less than or equal to 10 and that's why you know this expression is gonna result in false we're gonna come out of this while loop and we are not gonna execute the statements again so here what I can do is uh, I can print out the value of the counter variable so I'm gonna have system dot out dot print I'm not gonna have the print line method I'm gonna have the print method and I'm gonna uh, print out counter value and then let's add a space you know just to make it pretty and that's it now I'm gonna run this program and now you guys can see we have learning led rocks 10 times and when this counter value becomes 11 you know this loop fails or this loop continuation condition yields false and you know the control comes out of this while loop and it's gonna execute the other statement if you have in your program and here if you want to execute the statements inside a loop infinite times then what you can do is you can have a true here which means that you know this condition will be true forever and we will be executing the statements inside this loop forever so we can come out of this loop by using uh, something called a break statement and you know which i'm going to teach you in the upcoming tutorials so this while loop is one of the loops available in java you know which is used to execute the statements again and again or repeatedly until the expression or the loop counter condition that we have is false so this is it guys this is about the while loop in java thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel you guys can find the source code of this tutorial in my web blog learningladeducation.blogspot.com and also you guys can like my facebook page at facebook.com slash learninglad and follow us on twitter at learninglad.edu and i'll see you in the next tutorial